What's going on everyone, I'm the Intel, and today I discovered the Midjourney AI. Midjourney is an artificial intelligence that creates art and images based off of any prompt you give it. And today I thought it'd be cool to generate some images and art about some popular game series and kind of imagine what a sequel for some of these games could look like. Let's get right on into it right now. Firstly, I started with something simple, as I just wanted to see the power of Midjourney, and I was mind blown to say the least. I asked for it to create a man standing on a hill looking down from above, something simple. This looks so realistic, like somebody actually sat down and made this and not an artificial intelligence was made this in about a minute or two. Midjourney also allows you to pick your favourite and you can upscale it to make it the best quality possible. I picked the third image, the one in the left corner, to be upscaled and it looks even better. It's honestly unreal how far AI technology has come because like, at this point, I honestly could not tell this is an AI that made this art. Now, I started generating video games using this AI. The first game that popped into my mind was Hitman and Agent 47. So I asked the AI to create an image of Agent 47 from Hitman standing on top of a skyscraper looking out on the world. It looked great, but my favourite was the bottom left again. I upscaled it of course. And it looked even better. It even looked like art for a new Hitman game. Like you could even pass this off as art or concept art for Hitman 4. It looks that good. Next I changed gears to Assassin's Creed and I just made it simple this time. My prompt for the AI was simply Assassin's Creed. I just wanted to see what the AI could come up with and just let it go wild and see what it can make. It was great. Not as impressive as my first two but it still looked decent. I did a couple more of the top right one, as you're allowed to generate a couple more images based off one you like. So if you like the idea of one of the images, you can make it generate a couple more based off that. And I got a couple more that looked pretty solid. Nothing too impressive. The first two really blew me away. There was nothing here. If I was a bit more specific, like Assassin's Creed, Eivor in Japan or something, I could have got something pretty wild. This time I wanted the AI to create some art about a sequel for me, and kind of create concept art for a future game. So I chose one game I'm pretty excited for that's many years away, and that's Mass Effect 4. That was my prompt, nothing else, just the words Mass Effect 4. It came out amazing if you ask me, and some of it looks stunning and could easily be art or a poster for a new Mass Effect title. I chose once again the bottom left one to upscale. It looks really good, I just love the look of this one, the free soldiers facing away. I kind of think it's a cool touch how the AI even got the free soldiers thing, because in Mass Effect games you can have the player and two squad mates, like maybe Garrus and Rex for example. I think it's kind of cooler that the AI even got that in the image. Like, that was mind blowing when I saw that, because I was like, it got what Mass Effect has, which is free squad mates, and that just truly blew me away. Now I wanted the AI to create a Splinter Cell game for me, so I simply just told the AI the words Splinter Cell and see what it'd come out with. It looked exactly how I would expect a new Splinter Cell game to look like. I went for the bottom left one, once again, to upscale it. This was starting to become a theme in this video, I just kept going for the bottom left, and I don't know why, I just really liked that one. Interestingly, the upscaled one seems to have taken the big kind of winter coat that Sam Fisher wears in Rainbow Six Siege as Zero, instead of his usual spy suit design. Now, I went a little off the rails this time, and I asked the AI to combine one of my favourite TV shows of all time, with Fortnite, a game notorious for its collaborations. I give the prompt of Walter White from Breaking Bad in Fortnite. He got some interesting results, to say the very least. My absolute favourite is of course the top right one, because obviously the AI tried to put Fortnite in and kind of combined both and made Fort White. Fort White just, it just had me laughing and dying because it's just too funny. So I obviously upscaled it and it's amazing, I somehow it's my favourite picture of the day because Fort White is just so goddamn funny. Please Epic Games add Walter White to Fortnite. Now let's get back on track, I next asked the AI to make Watch Dogs 4. Interestingly it chose to take the Watch Dogs Legion approach and it kinda also took Cyberpunk 2077 as a huge inspiration for all four of the images. I'm not complaining though, these images are so great I had to upscale two of them with those being the top right and the bottom right. The first one that I upscaled is beautiful. The two characters in the rain, the reflections in the puddle, it looks so amazing that you could honestly show this as Cyberpunk 2077 concept art. The second one is lovely, it's a nice urban shot showing a very cyberpunk-like city, but the main character does seem to be missing a leg, which is a little bit of a problem. Finally, I asked the AI to create Halo 6. 
since I didn't think Halo Infinite 2 would have worked out very well. I was right though, because the AI came through some literal masterpieces. Some of these are so great, I low-key kind of want to make it my wallpaper on my PC, they are that good. The top right one is my absolute favorite. I had to upscale it because there's just something about the soldiers approaching the city that looks kind of with the halo ring in the background. It just looks so mysterious and cool, honestly. Like, what's going on? Why is there a halo ring outside this planet? It just got me so excited. I'm kind of like, that. I want to make that my wallpaper on my PC. It looks that good. This was a super fun video to make. It's obviously a little different than my usual content, but if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to let me know if you want me to do more of this AI creating video game art content. I'd love to make more. And if you want to try out the AI for yourself and make your own art based on whatever you want, you can make it literally on anything. You can write anything in there and the AI will make it for you. I'll leave a link down below to their Discord where you can generate some art. You just kind of put slash imagine, put your prompt in, and it'll just make the art. It's incredible how fast it is, by the way. But anyway, thank you for watching. I've been the Intel, and have a lovely day.